Greetings, Africa. Greetings, Kenya. Greetings, Nairobi. Welcome to Cinema and Theatre Break Show, where we talk everything Kenyan cinema and theatre. And stopping by today is a lovely, amazing film producer. She's a filmmaker with 10 films in her title, and today she's adding another title to her film. She is a lecturer, she is a performer, she is an actress, and above all, she's a mother. Welcome, Daktari. Hey, introduction in my <laughs> 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 It's you. It's you, Every time I'm introduced, I'm like, hey, it's okay. So Who, is nice. that? Like... Who is that? Who is that? When, when um, at this particular time, you are what we call young leaders. Mm -hmm. And we've achieved a substantial amount of success. Uh -huh. So when we, you go somewhere and you get introduced, this way and uh, you're looking at us yeah. who are doing the introduction what comes into your mind i'm like wow zippy yeah you underestimate yourself uh -huh. you underestimate yourself <laughs> and 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 uh, uh, people tend to forget yeah your journey because yes. when you've achieved a lot yeah at uh at you your age you're lucky Yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm not lucky. What's the journey? I have worked hard to be What's the journey? <laughs> What's the journey, Daktari? Tell us about your journey, especially mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the film and theater industry in Kenya. Yeah. Uh, how has been the journey? Because uh, there's a kid, there's a young girl watching, there's a young boy watching. There's also someone yeah. who wants maybe to quit the industry. Yeah. You have um, uh, 11 films in your title, yeah. and these are including a documentary, short films, and feature films. Yeah. You've done single woman stage shows. Yes. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> she is also an author. She's an author. Yeah. Yes. So, and you've also been able to balance these and your education. Uh, when I say Dr. Zip, it, it, it's a doctorate. Yeah, it's a PhD. It's doctorate. a PhD. Yes, yes. So, you've balanced all these. <laughs> education and theater and yeah, cinema yeah. and you don't have gray hair what's oh, the journey really you have you, have, you can't tell if i have gray hair <laughs> no maybe that's why i died this color no 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 no, no. <laughs> you know there you know you're there Hi. how has been the journey oh uh, so for me i think the journey has been one exciting and mm -hmm. very challenging even mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. uh, so first i studied uh, drama and theater studies at Masena university Mm -hmm. And then I went and studied gender and development, but I based my thesis on drama therapy mm -hmm. among FGM survivors. Mm -hmm. Then I went and did my PhD on theater arts, also mm -hmm. based on drama therapy. Mm -hmm. So when I look back and when people ask me, so how did you get there? I tell people, go to school. Uh -huh. People are like, it's a talent. Yes, it's uh -huh. a talent. But uh -huh. uh, the question is, do you just want to be famous or do you want to make money? Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you want to make money, go to school. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the other day I was arguing with somebody on the platforms. And somebody's like, even those people who have gone to school, they cannot do better. <laughs> we are even better than them. I'm like... That discussion is always there. Film school students uh, yeah, I, 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 I and the industry the guy, students. We ended that discussion in 2017. Right uh -huh. now, we... When I look in the whole Kenyan industry, 70% mm -hmm. have gone to school. The yes. young generation, 70% yes. have studied mm -hmm. something related. It could be theater, it could be film, it could be mm -hmm. communication, mm -hmm. journalism. People have gone to mm -hmm. school and they are working mm -hmm. in this industry. And those who started yeah. without school, with some time, yes. they went back to school. Some went back. I have had people who are 50 years, 60 years in my classes. Mm -hmm. Because they just want to come that have that paper. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes, so you may be very good in your skill. But without that paper, you can ne not negotiate mm -hmm. for better pay. Mm -hmm. So I tell people, you want to work, you want to be the best, fine. But some of us, uh -huh. we want money. You, you are yeah. among the students who first had their, 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 their bachelor in performing arts from yes. a Kenyan university. university yes. uh -huh. uh, at Maseno University, we were the third lot to graduate. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that time, the first place that offered drama and theater studies was Moi University. Mm -hmm. And that time it was, it was um, in collaboration with Maseno. Mm -hmm. Then Maseno became its own constituent university. Mm -hmm. Then, so as Maseno University, we were the second. As Moi and the whole country, mm -hmm. we were the third group to graduate mm -hmm. with the drama and theater studies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we look back... It was that time when people still shied away from doing this theater arts. And mm -hmm. even for us and our parents, mm -hmm. we were told, you kishin do kupata Don't come back here crying because uh -huh. we needed to do low education uh -huh. and all that. And so, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
and we didn't fail. Yes. The, the thing is, for some of us, this mm -hmm. was not a last option because we failed. Yes. I could have studied law at Tomo University. I refused. Yes. I could have done education. I refused. I mm -hmm. chose to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Having having joined um, the industry, um, yeah. how long have you been in the industry? How many years now? Let me say, since I graduated, I, it's uh, like 19 years. 19 years? Yeah. 19 years. Yes. So if you're about to quit today, she's been here <laughs> for 19 years. My people, 19 yes. years. Looking back when we when you joined the industry, yeah. um, the Kenyan cinema scene yeah. and, and the theatre industry, comparing the two when you joined yeah. and now, yeah. do we have a difference? There's a big difference. I mm -hmm. tell people we are not where we want to be, but mm -hmm. we are better than we could have, have mm -hmm. imagined. Mm -hmm. Because we, let's not have people's argument is, oh, Nigeria is because they have a high population. Forget that argument. <laughs> and comparison. In comparison, Kenyans are churning out very high quality productions mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. Nigeria, in my view. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is churning out a lot of productions, mm -hmm. but that is the same thing that's happening in mm -hmm. our River Road industry. Mm -hmm. Even Kenya, we have the River Road film industry, which is churning out a lot of content. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't and know the, if you agree with yeah. me or not. Uh, yes. Sorry to catch you. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to this comparison of, of, of Nigeria industry yeah. and Kenyan industry yeah. and Hollywood, um, it, it doesn't sit well with me as, yeah. a, a, as I'm also a, a film producer. Yes. It doesn't sit well with me because uh, I believe um, back in the days yeah. when Nigeria had started churning out their own film, yes. Nigerian produced films, yes. in our country we were still doing films that were done by tourists. Yes, exactly. So tourists used to come, mm -hmm. when they do their documentaries, mm -hmm. they find a place and say, Let, let's do a Kenyan movie, and but they do, do it. But do you know what has changed that? Uh -huh. Education. Mm -hmm. Nigeria, they started trading in theater arts and film in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. Well, now here I am telling you that we were the first students yes. in the year 2000. So Nigeria was wow. 40 years ahead of us, mm -hmm. even in training people for film. So for a long time, all the films that were being done, yes, were being done by tourists. Mm -hmm. But because all the other people who are now working in mm -hmm. the Kenyan film industry mm -hmm. were trained by the whites, mm -hmm. and they were trained in the areas of grapes and lighting, because that is where the white man needed hands. Uh -huh. You get what I mean? Uh -huh. Not directors. Uh -huh. They needed hands. What was Kobeba music or Grips TV? Weka Paleta. Weka Paleta. So you'll find that in the area of grips and lighting yes. and uh, assistant cameras, that's where they used to come. And that's where, as Kenyans, mm -hmm. uh, our films are very high quality mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that's where we informally learn films. Yes, yes, but when yes. we started learning film formally, mm -hmm. because for the industry to grow, that formal learning is mm -hmm. very good for directors, producers, script mm -hmm. writers, the mm -hmm. people who drive where the money is, you mm -hmm. get it. So when we started learning it, it is 40 years of Nigerian. Mm -hmm. So we can't compare. You can't mm -hmm. compare. It's like right now, mm -hmm. a student who has just finished from four mm -hmm. and my 20 years of experience, they mm -hmm. can be lucky and shoot up because of digital era. Mm -hmm. But that is just 1%. The other 99% going through the same journey they will still need to take that time. So that's the thing, mm -hmm. yes. The same way we can't reach Hollywood because they started how many years ago? 150 years mm -hmm. ago. You get it? So many years ago. So you can't, co you can't compare yourself with people who have been there before you earlier. You mm -hmm. can really try and challenge. Some people might be lucky here and there, mm -hmm. but I think we are at a very good place right now as an industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I believe in East Africa, we are the best. We are. In Eastern, Eastern Central Africa, Africa, actually. Yeah, <laughs> Eastern Central we are, Africa. We are the best. What Kenya mm -hmm. needs right now are marketers and distributors for film. Because mm -hmm. we need people talking well about our Kenyan films. Mm -hmm. Because our, you'll find somebody saying, I don't watch Kenyan films. Then they ask them, which one have you watched? None. But it's because they've had the trajectory over and over again. So we mm -hmm. need a marketer to come and start speaking well. Mm -hmm. Then people will be like, oh, I like Kenyan films. I like, I like, I like, I like. I like. Then the trajectory goes they don't around. Watch. Where do we go wrong in marketing? Because um, I, I, I stand to be corrected. Yeah. I believe there is a lot of money when it comes in theater runs than VOD platforms. Because mm -hmm. I feel VOD platforms, it's more of like a are a most controlled market yeah. than the theater, I mean the cinema runs. But in Kenya, getting to that cinema-going culture, mm -hmm. we are not yet there. There are some films, yes, they, they feel 
theater yeah. shows. But where do we go wrong in marketing as filmmakers? Hmm. Let me say first, we do not have marketers mm -hmm. who are intentionally mm -hmm. and purposefully working for the film and theater industry. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like there's, if we had a marketer who just says, us, like, you know, Zipio Cot marketers. Yes. He is bringing to you the Kenyan film mm -hmm. to your doorstep. You get it? Mm -hmm. You don't have those marketers. Nowadays we have some distributors, but okay. we don't have marketers. See, the same way we have what marketers were doing billboards for other companies, Safaricom mm -hmm. and all that. Where are the marketers who are intentionally only focusing on film? Film launches, premiers and all yes. that kind of stuff. Yes. So as long as there's that gap, as long mm -hmm. as there's no one or no mm -hmm. company mm -hmm. that is intentionally mm -hmm. focusing on this industry, mm -hmm. that gap will always be there. So mm -hmm. it's not like it, we are where we are going wrong. Mm -hmm. We don't have a platform. Dr. when you yes. are making budget for, for, for producing a film, yes. Do you include marketing budget? I include marketing budget. Uh -huh. But even when I include the marketing budget, I still don't have a marketer. Right. Yes. Because uh -huh. I go to a marketer and they tell me, mm -hmm. we have never done film before. Let's mm -hmm. start from there. Why mm -hmm. should I risk it? Two, mm -hmm. uh, we tell them how we market our shows, theater and film. Mm -hmm. And it costs us money. It costs us money to pay influencers, to yes. pay all these people to post, to yes. boost on those pages and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Mm -hmm. But here's somebody who tells me they have never marketed a film. Mm -hmm. They want me to pay them up front. Mm -hmm. If you truly, really, really believe, <laughs> why don't you have a percentage share on uh -huh. the returns? Uh -huh. Which I believe. Mm -hmm. I can give even 20%. It mm -hmm. will be more than paying you 100 or 200K. Yes. Yes. If you really believe you're mm -hmm. a good marketer, why don't you just believe in that? Let's uh -huh. have a retainer uh -huh. for, for handling this because whether mm -hmm. the marketer is there or not, mm -hmm. we still have to pay for a lot of these uh, marketing things. Yes. So we, we, we will sort out that. Mm -hmm. But for their pay, mm -hmm. why do I need to pay them up front yet? They do not have the experience to do that. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I need, I'm, I'm looking for somebody, even right mm -hmm. now, I mean, somebody mm -hmm. who's marketed uh, film or theater, we just work, I just know this is our marketer. And I mean, I'll be glad to have one. Mm -hmm. I'll be, I, I so, wouldn't mind so there, there, there are no out. marketers. There are specifically no marketers for specifically film. for film, specifically for theater. Mm -hmm. Yes. And and um, I like doing this comparison, especially because it's in Kenya. I look how th this discussion I raised some time with a, a fellow film producer, and um, yeah. he aggressively told me I'm using the wrong comparison. Yeah. You look at our local musicians mm -hmm. when they have. A new song yeah they come up maybe with a scandal yeah they go on a music based show that yeah. does uh specifically uh music yeah. uh, uh um some shows you know we used to have the beat on yes. ntv back in the days we used mm -hmm. to have uh, i think mambo mseto is still there yeah. um we used to have mzuka such shows there's another show maybe on 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 on, on star times called pptv it's, th it's a channel yeah focuses hundred percent on films mm. do you think we are lacking shows in kenya that focuses 100 mm. percent on kenyan films and theater you know this type of but, shows but but but, uh, but uh, well, i can't say that yet i'm on one that's focusing on uh, theater and films but, but, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay okay we might have uh, one we need two we need three we need four yeah no we have not had some yes. for a long time but uh -huh. i know we have you yes you going to just started another one on icon radio amazing yes it's a, it's a website radio mm -hmm. i might need to add yeah online radio. it's an online radio yes so we uh we don't really have much of mm -hmm. the mainstream tv mm -hmm. shows mm -hmm. yes focusing only on entertainment you'll find mm -hmm. that yes we have both morning shows but only on monday maybe or uh, the day for mm -hmm. for sure so that's there but we are not really being given that sacred platform that this one is just for this mm -hmm. so yes maybe we need uh, things to change we need people to Mm -hmm. uh, to start focusing on us. But then going back to the other issue of scandals, mm. music <laughs> and uh, film are different. You mm. see, for music, mm. you can create a scandal because it's this one musician. You create yes. a scandal and okay. sells the, the music. For mm -hmm. film, I want the story to sell. Mm -hmm. So as long as the scandal is not revolving around the story, story, then I, I am, it's not the audience for this. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so marketing a film and music are totally different. Mm -hmm. Remember also... I'm creating a brand of all this team of uh, crew and mm -hmm. cast, mm -hmm. and they cannot be based on one scandal. Mm -hmm. And uh, for film, scandals can really go haywire. 
Mm. You see the way uh, the color purple, the scandal of Taraji took yes. things now south. Yes. So there are too many stakeholders involved. You see, for music, you'll be like, ah, uh, good bad publicity is still good bad publicity. Yes. Because yes. it's just you. Yes. But here I have a team of 50 now, like this film that we've just done, mm -hmm. 300 people. So the scandal is on home. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? I get it. Yes. Yeah, so I get it. It for work. color purple, I think it really costed the production because yeah. uh, I uh, was just following up online, even the the box office yeah. uh, return on investment. And that's a beautiful it's, film. Yeah, It is? I watched it. I didn't watch I watched it because it of Taraji. No, no, no. <laughs> I watched the film for two and a half hours uh -huh. and it's beautiful. Uh -huh. Even Taraji uh -huh. herself has doubt, done herself. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, now just going back to now talking films. Yeah. Um, before we go to what really brought you here today, yeah. uh, which is your new film, Otis Janam. Otis Janam. <laughs> <laughs> Otis Janam. Yes. Let me let me let's finalize on this beat on 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 support from yeah. the government. Yes. Uh, towards the industry. Yeah. For the 19 years that you've been in the industry. Yeah. Has the support um, doubled up or has the support gone down? What's what what's what's your comments? Let's on this? not talk about doubling or going down. Yes. For the first time, the uh -huh. very first time we saw support mm. for film, let me say monetary support yes. for film in this industry, mm -hmm. that was 2020. You mm -hmm. get what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, we are glad Timothy Owas is a marketer by profession. Yes. And now Wakili. <laughs> yes, yes. So yes. Timothy Owas is a marketer by profession, mm -hmm. and I think that has really helped mm -hmm. in the niche that he's bringing into the film industry. Mm -hmm. And also having worked with the Kenya Film Commission for a long time, yes. he could see the gap that mm -hmm. filmmakers were having. Mm -hmm. And so when he sat mm -hmm. on that chair mm -hmm. and having, uh, having that uh, uh, what institutional history, yes. I think it was easy for him to identify this the gap. Mm -hmm. And what... What has been a challenge for many of the CEOs, I mm -hmm. think Timothy uh, filled that gap in a way that mm -hmm. you should be seen for you, a longer I know time. He, I like, know, because I think he'll be retiring this year. No, 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 he's not retiring. <laughs> <laughs> he should stay there. No, I do not want to discuss that. He story. should stay no, there, because no, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, he should stay there. He's but done whatever well. happens, anyway, he's done well. uh, he's done I, I always well. see, uh, say, a good leader is a good leader. He is a good leader. Yeah, a good leader is a good leader. It does not matter where he is. So, yes. I personally believe, uh, yes. if Timothy is here and he has done that much progress, yes. with very little talk, you know, yes, yes, yeah, yes. then it doesn't matter where he's taken. Mm -hmm. He will still do, really do very well. Very well. Uh, but also, the one thing is that whoever comes after him mm -hmm. has to keep uh, that precedence yes. because the industry is aware this is possible. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have never gotten monetary support until Timothy Owase came, came into in. the Kenya Film Commission office, mm -hmm. and that's something we still have to credit him for. Yes. Yeah. So government has supported us. Uh, personally, I'm one of the beneficiaries of the third empowerment fund. Yes. Yeah. The uh -huh. first one. There was uh -huh. the first one, the second, the second one, one, and as we got the mm -hmm. third empowerment fund. Mm -hmm. And uh, I must say it has really helped because mm -hmm. um, like for the film that we did, mm -hmm. it was a film that I wrote, I wrote 20 years ago. I was not oh. able to produce it because of the massive budget yes. that it included. Mm -hmm. um, it had crowd scenes. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it would have been beautiful if it was shot in Rosinga Island. Now mm -hmm. I had to wait. And now when we got this grant, mm -hmm. we were able to go and shoot it in Rosinga Island, mm -hmm. having crew and cast mm -hmm. from uh, Nairobi, some in Homer Bay, some mm -hmm. from Kisumu, and mm -hmm. we were there for like 14 days. Hold it right there. So, yes. Daktari has made a very beautiful film. Oh, beautiful. A very beautiful uh, film. It's called Otis Janam. Yeah. Daktari, tell us about Otis Janam. Ha! Otis Janam, first of all, is very close to my heart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, Otis Janam is a story of a lazy fisherman who gets mm -hmm. lucky mm -hmm. and wins the boat race mm -hmm. which has been organized by the wealthiest man mm -hmm. and the the gift was or mm -hmm. the prize was mm -hmm. to marry this rich man's daughter and mm -hmm. gives you some wealth so it is done out of nowhere yes that day gets lucky and the old man to keep his word he says i will give this man my daughter and some wealth mm -hmm. even though the whole village knows mm -hmm. he's the laziest man mm -hmm. 
So later on, they, they have a very happy life because first of all, this man cannot even believe he has got this kind of woman or this stature <laughs> and beauty. Yes. But later on, when the man dies, the mm -hmm. man becomes a man. Mm -hmm. uh, he becomes mm -hmm. himself. We mm -hmm. say money makes a man more of what he is. So mm -hmm. he marries another woman and starts showing this other girl mm -hmm. arrogance and all yeah. that. And uh, all the money that they were left with, the inheritance really depletes until this mm -hmm. woman's shop, she had a tailoring shop, yes. also really, really depletes to zero until she starts knitting with her own hand. Mm -hmm. So there's a new boatress that's called. Mm -hmm. And now we have a new sponsor, you know. Mm -hmm. And the sponsor says the person who wins the race will win 100,000. And this time even women are allowed to race. Yes. In Luo culture, women mm -hmm. are not allowed to race. So we are breaking uh -huh. a lot of boundaries with this film. You won't be in problem with the community. We were we shocked that <laughs> uh, uh, we were there with the community when we were shooting. Uh -huh. And we really had to negotiate because mm -hmm. they said, one, we do not want the women to be deep in uh -huh. the lake. Uh -huh. uh, what if something happens? It means, one, uh, today the fishermen will not get enough fish. Okay. Yes. So they believe if, if women yes. are riding the boats, men yes. cannot fish. Women should not go beyond certain meters of the lake because ah. they should just be like washing clothes, uh, you know, and doing the duties here. Actually, when a woman is menstruating, she should not shower into the lake. She should fetch water mm -hmm. and shower outside the lake because that okay. blood uh, connects with the water spirits. So when the women <laughs> are in the boat, they cannot know okay. who is menstruating and who what will... Uh, what will happen? What will happen? So we had to fuel two speedboats mm -hmm. just to sit there. Just in case. Just in case. And they, were, they, they had the like, ready life jacket uh -huh. just in case so that it gave They, they actually a... believe it happens. Or does it happen? Let me tell you, uh -huh. it was not that we, we, fuel, we, we filled those speedboats with things and they were seated at your, on a beach on the grass. Uh -uh -uh. They were seated there just waiting in case something happened. They just turn it on with their life jackets ready. Oh my God. It was serious. So luckily okay. enough, nothing happened. Okay. And uh, yeah, they enjoyed the fuel. <laughs> 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 Giving back to the community. I gave back to the community. You're like, Giving okay, back to the all right. I, I, yeah. I had said to myself, yeah. I, won't, I won't talk about this. Mm. But let me, let me now talking about the film. Yeah. There's a time you did uh, a series of stage plays. Yes. And also that's the time also you wrote your book. Oops, Oops Zippy. Zippy. From the diary of, of a divorced woman. Yes. woman. Yeah. And uh, from my own understanding, you are writing those stories yeah. from a point of pain, from a point of yes, experience. Exactly. Um, when you were writing this story, I know you also wrote with another script writer. Yeah. Are you the 25 year old girl? No. <laughs> At that time, when I was writing uh, Oops, Zippy, uh -huh. I was not 25. Uh -huh. I was actually 33. But I started... No, I'm saying for this Otis Janam. Because yeah. you look at the story, it's a yes. story of this beautiful 25-year-old oh, 25 25 where yes. the dad is, you know, where, when this lazy man wins, yes. he, he's, given, uh, actually, he's given to... Uh, so I'm yes. looking at this story, I'm wondering, looking yes. at what you wrote back, uh, back XZP from yeah. the diary of I a wish, divorced woman... I wish, uh -huh. I wish my father had given me out to some of his good friends. You know? <laughs> they all could be lazy like this guy. No, it didn't matter. They could just have been better men, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, but uh, I, I look at it in terms of uh, the, the part that I feel it's partly my story mm -hmm. is this woman is very hardworking. She comes okay. from a well-off family, yes, mm -hmm. but she's very hardworking. She's quite educated. And here she is with a man who she is with because she believes this man has a gift and this man has potential to be anything. Okay. And together when they start, they're doing things together well. Mm -hmm. But then when the man starts having money, he changes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what happened in my life also. Okay. Yes, I met men who I believed we could grow together. Okay. But once they started... Enjoying money. You see me, I grew up in money. Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> I was used to these things. Now they are just finding these things. Yeah, but now Amazing. see when, when money, they start seeing okay. what kind of person they can be with money, mm -hmm. I believe it makes them become arrogant and mm -hmm. being that abusive and all that and not mm -hmm. the same loving person. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, I feel I am like a PE. Mm -hmm. The lady who eventually decides, no matter what, I'm going to stand at my feet and mm -hmm. rebuild myself. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's the story. But now the story in the movie is set in the 1990s. Okay. 
Yes, it is not a modern story. It's set in the 1990s. Mm -hmm. That's why we're looking at a tailoring shop because that comes from the reflection of... My mother had a tailoring shop. Mm -hmm. She was a teacher by profession, but she decided to have a tailoring shop. Mm -hmm. And it gave me a lot of nostalgia looking at that Amazing. shop. Actually, when we were doing Amazing. the Reiki, Amazing. when I saw that shop, because we had been looking at some tailoring shops, when I saw that shop, I was like, this is the shop. It this reminded shop. me of my mother's shop when I was young. Mm -hmm. It had like, those two doors, you know, this side and this side. And, it was it was just perfect. Mm -hmm. So there there were a lot of memories attached mm -hmm. to my childhood and even my current life, mm -hmm. even when doing the script. Mm -hmm. But now we had to put it in the 1990s. Like, what is the best kind of business most women did at time? It was okay. tailoring. You okay. get it. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, education. You see, the same way right now we're talking about masters and PhD. Yes. That time, Form Four was very highly educated girl. Mm -hmm. You get it. In fact, when you went to college, you were like, you le am a soma. I'm a soma, soma. Mm -hmm. kabisa. You mm -hmm. get it. Mm -hmm. So some of these things are the things we're trying to look at. Mm -hmm. uh, I want people to understand that some of these issues did not start right now because women are educated. Okay. Uh, a lot of the challenges women are finding right now in comes mm -hmm. to where their empowerment as business mm -hmm. or even um, domestic violence mm -hmm. started a long time ago, even when women were not so mm -hmm. empowered. Mm -hmm. Because right now when I say, mm -hmm. oh, women are nowadays too empowered, that's why there are a lot of breakups yeah. and all that. But mm -hmm. We had all these issues happening and back, women were back, not empowered. Back then. Yes. Talking about women, um, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's your thing because um, yeah. I look back at your last film, uh, there's a film you, you premiered, Mid yes. Mid Mid Midlife, Midlife Crisis. Crisis. Yes. It was um, women, women Best. Yes. Um, all my films you, you by did, the uh, There's a show you, was, uh, you were a part of, uh, Mr. Miss President. Ms. President. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, also looking at this autist genome, is yeah. also we have we seeing the theme of women in power. Yeah. Would you say, um, or or let me let me ask this direct: uh, Is there agenda you're trying to push? Are you advocating for something? I'm not advocating for something. Uh -huh. I just love women's stories. Okay. Uh, you see, when you say push for something, I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm just like, someone has to tell the stories from the women's angle. And okay. it's the same thing I always say, somebody mm -hmm. has to tell the African narrative from mm -hmm. the African's perspective. African perspective. So the same way, somebody has to tell women's stories from the woman's perspective. perspective. Okay. Because we have had a lot of times when stories are told from the man's perspective. Mm -hmm. Do you know the roles women are given? Secretary, mm -hmm. a prostitute, a woman being beaten because she's poor, poor woman. You know, I am telling stories of women who are successful mm -hmm. going through maybe whether it is all this emotional or physical abuse or mm -hmm. challenges and they still make mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Because I want my children to mm -hmm. watch these films and say, I want to be that woman. Yes. Like it doesn't matter what I go through, mm -hmm. I will make it. I don't want my children to watch films and say women are always suffering, women are always the secretaries who are exploited by their bosses, mm -hmm. women are... No! Mm -hmm. I want... If, if there is a role of a secretary being exploited by their boss, I want a movie where that secretary walks out and starts a business and it builds the business of this other boss. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, you need to... to I want women you heroes. Give, you give them a cause. I They're going to, to, to rise above that... Amazing, exactly. amazing. Working with the cast, um, I saw the cast that you have. Powerful uh, cast. Powerful cast. Powerful and cast. Um, <laughs> if 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 Masese yeah. is watching this, uh, yeah, I, I love her. There, there, there's good. a time. Great. There's a time during my auditioning days. Yeah. I had gone for for an audition somewhere. Yeah. And we were paired with her. Yeah. It, it was at Liquid Arts Entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. So we were paired with her, mm -hmm. and we went. To Liwa show, yeah. to Liwa show, she 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 brought the best yes. out of me during that audition. Is a, what they call it, she's a method actor. Yes. For those who don't understand, method acting is where you immerse yourself in the role. Yes. You almost forget who you are. I saw there yes. is Masese, there is Nick Quach, there yes. is Godfrey. Yes. You, you just you have an we amazing had cast. I, but have I an never had to pick. I never had to pick. Yes, you, you, there was an audition. Every time we're doing movies, mm -hmm. you let's say, mm -hmm. I may be having an idea of whom I want, but mm -hmm. let's call everyone for an audition. You do not write with, with cast in mind. I can have write with a cast in mind, uh -huh. but when it comes to doing the work, mm -hmm. I say, call everyone plus this one whom I have in mind. Mm -hmm. So that I want to prove to myself, yes. the person I have in mind, is he the best? Mm -hmm. Or do we have another person? How was he working with this amazing cast? 
it was nice it was easy we had uh, almost three four weeks of uh, rehearsals here in nairobi before we went down there mm -hmm. so by the time we were going down to rasinga we already had chemistry between the actors we mm -hmm. had read throughs rehearsals trying to get that is not how to say that low word mm -hmm. tone it like this mm -hmm. and i want this level of anger because you know we have got to what uh, for those of us who who studied arts yes emotional tone scale it's yes. not that like every time you get angry the same way there's a degrees of anger, degrees of joy, mm -hmm. and we have to know when you're saying this line, I want this degree of sadness, mm -hmm. not yeah, and all that. Mm -hmm. So by the time we we're going to shoot, it was, I believe if we did not have any rehearsals in Nairobi, instead mm -hmm. of the 12 days of shoot, mm -hmm. we could have spent it in 30 days. Filming. Yeah, but pre-production, mm -hmm. we did sufficient mm -hmm. pre-production mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. even with the crew. Mm -hmm. We had two record tours uh, mm -hmm. in uh, Rusinga Island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first time we just went to see what is it. Mm -hmm. We went to Kindu, went to Rusinga to try mm -hmm. to compare the places. We chose Rusinga, we took photos, we came back. Then we decided now to go with all the HODs, like mm -hmm. head of lighting, mm -hmm. head of camera, sound. We went to see for ourselves so that we know the right equipment to have. We go on a budget. Actually, grant. <laughs> Kenya Film Commission, uh, GIZ. Yes. You, yes, let me say you utilized the budget very well. Yeah, for yes. me, it was that thing of uh, I have wanted to do this story, mm -hmm. and now that I have the money, mm -hmm. we are going to do a beautiful story. Mm -hmm. No shortcuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no shortcuts. This, this is amazing. Guys, I want you to go to YouTube and watch or taste Janam trailer. Just yes. watch the trailer. Because yeah. I was looking at the trailer cinematography, yeah. the color, the yes. sound, and, uh, and the music. And the music. You know, we have serious artists there. Tell me about hey, it. The scores. The scores of death. Toto ya Pamela. That is Winyo Sifton. Yes. Winyo, one of the contemporary banger artists uh -huh. in this country. Uh -huh. And then we have got Idi Aching. Powerhouse, powerful amazing, voice. Amazing. Then we have Okelo Max. Okelo Max. You know, Toto ya Pamela. Toto ya Pamela. <laughs> it is beautiful. Yes. Like uh, I listen to the to the movie and I'm like, it's nice. Is then it. we have got uh, the score is the person who's put all these scores together. Mm -hmm. We have got this called uh, uh, Mugenda, Alex mm -hmm. Mugenda, Big mm -hmm. Soul. Mm -hmm. And then we have got the person who's now designed it all. It's called Amazing. Audi George. Yes. Sound designer yes. when you're Baba yes. Yes. sound. Yes. So it's it's nice. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful yeah. film. And um, towards the end of the trailer, um, um, the lady says. Um, it's in Luo, but she says... Adwafuyo, Otis, Adwafuyo, Eboche, Epolo. Yes, yes, yes. I think from the trailer, that's my favorite line. Otis. That's my favorite line. I want to fly high above the skies. Dakshari. Yeah, for me, that's the thing. I, that's my that's, favorite that's line. The thing. Yes. From the trailer. Yes. I'm, I'm expecting mm. a lot from the film. I'm so yeah. pumped up for, for yes. the film. Mm. I'm so excited. I'm yeah. this kind of person. And that's particularly the reason why um, I and the team started this show, yeah. was to celebrate the Kenyan film yeah. and theater industry. Yeah. When I see a good movie, when I see a good story, I get so pumped, pumped towards watching the film yeah. when, when are the the the, the, the days that the premiere 27th days? of march when is day 27th of march yes no someone is asking why wednesday I'm why like, wednesday oh, wednesday is the ladies night ah uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday, 27th of march at kicc amazing it's a beautiful it's going premiere. to be a beautiful premiere. Amazing. Yeah, one thing I like to tell people, it is different from the films you have watched. It is? It is not action-packed. It is not comedy. Uh -huh. It is not just drama. Uh -huh. Even me, sometimes I sit and I'm like, where do I put this film? Wow. It is, it is it, different. It's, it's good you, you, you've yes. given us the It film. is different. You, 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 you're premiering it at a very central place. Yes. I want everyone, everyone to come and watch. Everyone can come and watch the film. Yeah. And the tickets. Tickets, are, I think, they're affordable. For VIP regular, uh, you need 2,000. Yes. And then yeah, for yes. VVVVVIP, <laughs> 4,900. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so VIP regular here yeah, vimoja. Yes. <laughs> Yo, utakuwa hapo. I mean red carpet ni kila mtu. Then yes. we'll give you one drink, you know. Amazing. Then VVIP. Yes. We will give you special cocktail drink. Then tuking enda huko ku watch cinema screening. Mm-hmm. We'll give you a, a special place hapa penye Husemi nani toa kichwa hapa na and guys, then guys, we are also giving a gift for VVIP we have a special gift wanataka na, 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 na sio chupa ya maji na sio kikombe na sio t-shirt <laughs> we have thought through our gifts Amazing. yeah we say it's a lifetime gift yeah Amazing. yes you, i'm telling you you are making this look so easy doctor you're making mm-hmm. it look so easy you know producing films um uh, doubling up with education uh-huh. uh, doubling up with family you're making it look so easy what's what's the secret i working with a great team mm-hmm. i'm working with a great team like my co-producer vigilance atieno mm-hmm. she's doing a splendid job uh, i mean on facebook they know her as filmmaker atieno uh-huh. yeah she's doing a splendid job then the cinematographer we worked with uh, jackson kangeve yes. yeah then we had uh, isaac njue mm-hmm and Sarah Owen and Audi George yes. and Walter the Amber Wall E like heavyweights of course i mean i'm a heavyweight we have to work with heavyweights <laughs> <laughs> they are heavyweights yeah they so uh, the one uh, thing we need amazing AD Robio Dongo Robio Dongo oh, so oh, Robio Dongo is the one who translated the film also from english to luo i was struggling exactly. i said i said uh, robi yes i know i've worked on ramogi tv but <laughs> help me translate this thing to get the real you know Robby grew up yes. in CIA inside inside uh-huh. and you know as is your south we don't have the real war i tell <laughs> Robby translate this thing as if it is being read by your grandfather and he has done a splendid job because because i saw the, the yes. entire movie is subtitled yes the entire film is luo amazing but even if you are not like, speaking luo you I won't think miss a thing i think the luo film the whole film of 95 minutes mm-hmm. We have got English words maybe four. Uh-huh. Yes. You are a champion of yeah. African language films. Yes. And this is something I've also experienced during the um, I believe you are you, you create um, Yeah, the founder of the Lake International Pan yes, African Film Festival. Yes, yes, yes. For films for in African languages. In African languages. Yeah. Um why? Why? Why why are you championing for for such type of movies? Uh language is the core of culture mm-hmm. yeah and sometimes when i say this i feel so sad why <laughs> because i am struggling to teach my children luo mm. they real they are as eager to learn as i am mm-hmm. but i wish they could speak it as fluently as i do mm-hmm. because i feel when we speak our authentic language there's so much that comes with it mm-hmm. of course there's the emotions mm-hmm. but there's also the way we call our herbs our mm-hmm. plants our mm-hmm. vegetables mm-hmm. there's the richness that comes with it the way we name our children yes. there's just so so much authenticity and then uh, there's history in language mm-hmm. there is a uh, where do you come from your grandmother your great great grandmother you know mm-hmm. when you talk about our family tree it all goes down to language you language. know the naming culture and mm-hmm. all that mm-hmm. so i believe language is the epitome and uh, it's the one way we can be able mm-hmm. to at least if mm-hmm. not uh, we can't restore mm-hmm. because of where the society is mm-hmm. but at least if we can preserve mm-hmm. and continue reliving bits and pieces of okay. our culture i think that would be beautiful Yeah. It's a beautiful thing because mm-hmm. I think we should have more back back in the days we used to watch kung fu movies yeah. with no subtitles. Exactly. With no exactly. subtitles. And even now I watch a lot of Indian movies with no subtitles. And you can still follow the story. Because when somebody is speaking in in their in their mother tongue, mm-hmm. the emotion is so raw. Mm-hmm. Like you can just tell this person is not happy and you can flow with the story. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Talking in terms of uh film production mm-hmm. in Kenya. Yeah. Um let's talk about collaborative efforts. Yeah. Um on this film did you single-handedly produce it or did you have other partners coming on board to to make it possible? I have other partners on board. Tell us more. Yes. Yeah, so mm-hmm. 
the film, first of all, Kenya mm. Film Commission, we got a yes. grant from Kenya Film Commission and mm -hmm. GIZ, who mm. gave us the grant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. After a thorough application process. <laughs> <laughs> some give up on the way. Hey, yeah, some give up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, yes, but uh, we said uh, we, we, have, we had been trying the first mm -hmm. one, the second uh, empowerment, and now the third one. We were mm -hmm. like, thank God. Mm -hmm. Then now, because uh, what we needed was like, um, we needed 12 million, but they didn't give us that. They gave us 70% of that. Mm -hmm. So we had to look for other ways of chopping up this. So we had mm -hmm. Ahmed Farah. Mm -hmm. Ahmed Farah is a Kenyan Somali filmmaker. Uh, okay. He's the producer of Ayanle. 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 So he came through and he has got all this equipment and mm -hmm. he said, You are going to have my mm -hmm. red camera. Amazing. Yes. Oh. And all its lenses. Man, you know, uh -huh. that's like 100,000 per day. I'm telling Calculate you. Calculate 12 days. That's, you know, now you're not going to be Yes, a lot. exactly. Uh -huh. Then uh, we also had outdoor films. That mm -hmm. is called uh, John Sidori JT. Mm -hmm. He also came through. He gave us equipment, mm -hmm. lighting and grips equipment for all those 12 mm -hmm. days. And we were not doing lighting like two LEDs. We were doing no. lighting. You have Walter there. We There's had, no way you are doing. We had a whole van of lighting equipment only. Wow. Yes. Not a bag. A mm -hmm. whole van mm -hmm. of lighting equipment only. Yes. The costumes that we carried to Rosenga, mm -hmm. we put three sacks of clothes on Easy Coach because we could not even put it on the vehicles <laughs> that we were carrying. Three sacks of clothes wow. on Easy Coach, and mm -hmm. then it, it, it brought them all the way to Rosenga. Coming back, the same thing. As in, we invested heavily. You have invested. And, and this is something, guys. Yeah. If, if, you are, if you are looking at the 2,000, the 5,000, I say, wow, any Mingi sana. Yeah. Look at that. Wha what has gone into producing this film? Yeah. Are the locations, the talent, the crew, everything? Yeah. And, and 300 uh, shooting uh, scenes of 300 people plus. I'm telling you. We had to pay the whole audience, the cheering squad, when we were doing the boat racing. The boat racing. We had to, we had to pay them. We had to feed them that day. <laughs> we had to hire the boats <laughs> and pay the boat racers. <laughs> ah. You know, one thing also. You it, about. That's what I'm telling you. You make it look so easy. You know, you know, finally, is, uh, it, when writing the script in my head, yeah, uh -huh. uh, it was like, uh, bo what? Bo bo boats are rowed by one person. You know the uh -huh. way you always see just one person rowing? With the boats. But when it comes to boat racing, yes. you must have minimum five people. Each with their own boats. Yes. Minimum five people on one boat. So you know when we went to do uh, reggae. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. When we went to do reggae, we told uh -huh. them we want to see. Uh-huh. So we had people come and they showed us how boot racing is done. Mm -hmm. I know at that moment, as a director, mm -hmm. we realized, damn, these people are already cheering. So at that very moment, we made a decision that when we are coming to shoot, mm -hmm. even with the first boat race, we need three cameras for the boat race. Mm -hmm. And the very first one has to focus on the audience because mm -hmm. the audience can only be geared up once. Once. And you can't miss that moment. And you can't miss that moment. Mm -hmm. Because by the time, even that day, when we went for a we told them, do a second lap. Mm -hmm. We saw the audience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we say the audience, we are going to do mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. that very first excitement on mm -hmm. the first take. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Was the community at, uh, at Rusinga uh, receptive? Very. Uh -huh. And that's why we chose Rusinga. Mm -hmm. You see, there has always been the Rusinga Cultural Festival every December there. Yes, yes, so yes. So they are used to seeing people coming mm -hmm. to Rusinga mm -hmm. and also the boat racing happening there. It enabled mm -hmm. us to be able to know who are the best boat racers. Mm -hmm. So we even talked to with some... Um, Beach elders. Actually, mm -hmm. my father hooked me up with one of the beach elders, and his, his beach is one of the ones we used. Mm -hmm. We used one very big public beach called Chiro Beach. Mm -hmm. Then we had another one, uh, it's called Nyagindi, mm -hmm. uh, where, which is now a private beach. We preferred it because now it was enclosed, yes. and uh, so it was easier to control our audience and all. Mm -hmm. So we were able to shoot with all these people. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were nice to us. Mm -hmm. Rosinga people were nice to us. They allowed us to use their homes. Mm -hmm. When we were shooting on the streets, they were there, mm -hmm. marshalling them and telling them, keep quiet. And the children, I think it was a beautiful experience to see cinema, mm -hmm. like real cinema being done. They mm -hmm. were always there after school. Mm -hmm. You could see the children running very fast to just come and stand uh, there and behind watch. the camera. And watch. It was beautiful. I think most people it was think. Um, Making a film, you only need Nairobi, Mombasa, 
to make a film. I think we still have these these yeah. gems, you know, with, that are inside within some communities that people yeah. are not aware of. Mm -hmm. um, comparing filming uh, a film in Singa, maybe if you could have taken that scene somewhere else, because sometimes you make a story, yeah. but when it's come to execution, you start saying, uh, instead of us going to Rusinga, mm -hmm. why can't we go somewhere? Why can't we, you, you start substituting uh, locations? It's a budget for, issue. It's a budget, it's issue. A budget issue. But does it downsize the story? That depends on the director. Mm -hmm. mm. And that also depends on the script. Because if the mm -hmm. script has a lot of outdoors, like ours had a lot of outdoors, mm -hmm. then that authenticity, authenticity mm -hmm. of going to shoot in uh, Rosinga was very important. Mm -hmm. But if you're shooting in Nairobi, mm -hmm. then uh, you just have more indoors because mm -hmm. you cannot have the same feel. You get it? Mm -hmm. Even the color temperature. Yes. of uh, shooting in Nairobi is totally different from shooting in Kisumu, mm -hmm. Rosinga and all that. So even the color of the film is going to be different. different. So, but the challenge, I can't mm -hmm. blame producers for not doing that. Okay. The challenge is money because now like for mm -hmm. our case, we had around 50, 55 people mm -hmm. from Nairobi. That's accommodation, that is yes. transport and that's their yes. meals for all those 14 days. Mm -hmm. You see, we had 12 days of shoot, but mm -hmm. now 14 days, days of travel are also counted. There's a lot of reasons yeah. why I would want people to come and watch this film. Because yeah. I think you've placed um, so many, you've placed food on so many people's tables. Yes, we did. Because um, the crew, the we people, did. and that's why... And I, the locals there. The locals. For those two weeks, mm -hmm. there were people who they were just coming. Uh, today, you know, those roles of extras, yes. of just passing, <laughs> yes. cheering, uh -huh. I, like somebody's just like, Yanni, I have just passed, uh -huh. you sign, and then, you know, there were women selling paid. omena, and uh, all they were told and to do is you throw them. your omena, you know, they, go on with your work, and yes. you're being paid for doing your work, you get what I mean, uh -huh. early in the morning, uh -huh. you know, yes, and so uh -huh. they're spreading their omenas and all that, uh -huh. then they're like, is that enough, it's all you go on and you say stuff, <laughs> then they're laughing, like, hi. You people are not finishing with this, you know. But it's so long as they're getting paid, and they're getting, okay. And, and you see, we are not taking your men away. No. I'm taking you filming that, and uh -huh. then you sign for me image rights. We give you what we're giving you, small, yes. and then you go on and sell your men to the other. Yes. Yes. I yeah. think I think the, the country should be more uh, receptive to Kenyan films. Yeah. And uh, I think we are doing so. Yeah. Um, many people are starting to watch our content, yeah. but I think they should watch more because... Mm. Um, this is like boosting local economies. Yeah. Um, looking at the budget of your film, mm. this budget has been spent yeah. in, in, in Rusinga. Yeah. Which means economy in that area. When has our people yeah. uh, came from Nairobi, went there, yeah. they bought maybe airtime from there, they, they bought, bought some food, food stuff from there. Stuff, they, yeah. they, they, there are snacks, things, you know, snacks water, from there. Accommodation. Accommodation. We had two hotels that were fully booked by us. Amazing. Like we went to one hotel mm -hmm. and it could only take 20 people. So we told them, mm -hmm. uh, we are not going to start negotiating with other hotels. Mm -hmm. So you tell us which hotel, which at least is your standards and can afford our budget. Go talk mm -hmm. to them and tell them we are taking people there. Mm -hmm. And so imagine if your hotel is booked for 10 days, all rooms. Amazing. Yeah. Those are local business exactly. you're boosting. Yes. You're boosting. Exactly. I, I really want to go back to, to, to collaborations. Yeah. This is something that has not been seen mostly in Kenyan productions. Most of the time we do call Pekeyangu production, yeah. you know? You find that um, you're the one producing, you are the, your production company is the one sponsoring it, but sometimes you see outside here, people coming together, companies coming together, like in your case, yeah. um, Rio Films yeah, Rio brought Films a particular set of yes. equipment. And uh, by the way, we also uh, partnered with Rio when we were doing uh, Midlife Crisis. Amazing. Uh, we partnered with Rio and Cafe Luna for post-production, yes. Amazing. So, so you're embracing partnership. For me, it's not even embracing. I mm -hmm. have always done partnerships. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't I think people who were there before us, I don't know, they, they were always scared of partnerships. I don't mm -hmm. know, maybe people play Why? them, lack of trust and stuff. Yes. Uh -huh. It's a risk in itself, but mm -hmm. uh, no business isn't a risk. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the question is, 
oh, if this person gets money, will they change? And it's true. We have seen mm -hmm. people change once money starts coming in. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, sometimes it's not even about the contract that person. It's good to sign mm -hmm. contracts. Mm -hmm. But it's about knowing there's a person who keeps their word. Because mm -hmm. if I didn't keep my word with Rio Films, mm -hmm. I don't think uh, five years later they could have supported me uh -huh. when doing this other film. Uh -huh. So sometimes it's good to look at the bigger picture, looking at yes. a partnership as a long-term partnership with mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. money will come and go. I mean, when you but get the, the money, pay people the, their shares the mm -hmm. way you wrote it down on mm -hmm. paper and wait for the next job because and money that, will never be enough. That partnership and friendship when it's built on trust, exactly. it, it always be there. Yes. It always be there. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about um, um, the entertainers and yes. especially the actors. Um, it's far from the topic, but again, it's still within the, the mm -hmm. creative industry. Yeah. There's a lot of depression and, and uh, artists going into alcoholism, um, suicide, and um, this reminded me when mm -hmm. I had asked you if we can have this conversation. Mm -hmm. There's a time I attended one of your public uh, talk at yeah. um, Power 254 yeah. when there was still Palaivo a status road. Mm -hmm. And um, you talked about this mm -hmm. and you told the artist mm -hmm. you are an artist, mm -hmm. but um, you keep on saying there are no jobs. Yeah. There is a school mm -hmm. that is looking for for a drama teacher. Yeah. You understand acting. You don't there want is, to go there. You don't want to go there. Mm. There is a school, maybe it wants a script writing. Mm. You, you are also a seasoned script writer. You can come up with, with workshops. Mm. But now, years down the line, mm. we're still seeing the same thing. Yeah. Um, what can you advise actors who are just coming in or, or, or filmmakers who are coming in? Because they, they're not going to make money overnight. They're not going to make money. That's around. why we need school. Yeah. And people come to my inbox every time and saying, oh, I am very good at writing. I'm a mm -hmm. great actress. And I say, go to school. Mm -hmm. School is not just to perfect your art, but okay. it will open your mind to the world of many possibilities. Mm -hmm. That is why ZP here is doing a thousand things, because I know I am in the creative industry. Mm -hmm. I'm not just an actor, actress. Mm -hmm. I can act, I can do storytelling, I can write. Do you get what I mean? Yes. Because school ignites something in you. Mm -hmm. It helps. You know, all the assignments that you're being given, mm -hmm. you may find it hard in writing, but you might realize you're good in directing also mm -hmm. beyond the acting. Because a lot of us, by the time we're going to film school, mm -hmm. we're always like, I just want to act. Mm -hmm. Or I want to direct, mm -hmm. or be in a mm -hmm. camera. Mm -hmm. Then you go there, you realize, oh, I love camera, but I can mm -hmm. also direct, and yes. I can edit and do graphics. You School I mean? gives you opportunities. It gives you, yeah, mm -hmm. it opens your mind to all uh, these yes. possibilities. Uh -huh. So well, when, when people talk about that, then uh, I also think now when it comes even now back again to the audiences, much of my audience are my alumni. Uh -huh. People I went to school with, mm -hmm. they know that is ZP. ZP is our own. Mm -hmm. We believe what she's doing is mm -hmm. quality. Mm -hmm. You get it? And I, I must watch and I what must she's doing. And I must what she's doing. Uh -huh. You get it? Uh -huh. So it creates for you a ready audience. Mm -hmm. When people want their children to learn maybe drama, so they always call, mm -hmm. Hi, ZP, my child is very interested in drama. I'm wondering mm -hmm. if you can do private tuition for how mm -hmm. over the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a time I could do that, but right nowadays I'm very busy. Mm -hmm. and so I say, uh, I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not able to, but I have. A student I can refer. Yes. So I refer some of my very good mm -hmm. students. I tell them you're mm -hmm. going to do this and this is what you're going. You know, mm -hmm. I guide them through. And when they go, they raise my name. They say, mm -hmm. "Oh, the student you sent, they are mm -hmm. doing very well with my daughter. In fact, my daughter right now won mm -hmm. this." You know. Mm -hmm. I admire yeah. you because yes. of um, you have been able to create um, almost ten now these autistic yeah. now the eleventh film title <laughs> under your name. Okay. Yeah. And you're also. A lecturer, yeah. Not just a lecturer, but a professional lecturer. A lecturer of film and theater. Arts. A, a lecturer of film and theater yeah. arts. And there is someone who's just somewhere, maybe a producer or maybe yeah. a creative, mm. who thinks that um, he's only going to do film and that's it. What mm. would you tell them? Just let them do film. They shouldn't do, <laughs> <laughs> no, they shouldn't do anything. Uh -huh. I mean, if they feel that's what they want to do, uh -huh. when I tell people, what do you want to do? Uh -huh. Then do it. Do it. Yeah. The, the, because sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, don't push people to do what they don't want to do. Mm -hmm. 
let people do what they feel mm -hmm. they have the drive mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Because two also, not everyone can be like Zippy. Okay. Me, I know I'm multi-talented, I am crazy, I'm everything. I mean, I started in music and mm -hmm. uh, film and theatre. The only thing I'm not doing is drawing, but I draw quite well. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, uh -huh. I, have, uh, uh, I have some of my sisters who are artists, so I think I have a bit of that gene. Not uh -huh. as perfect as them, though. Uh -huh. But uh, I think uh, if somebody feels that they want to do film, I will say, what do you want to do in that film? Okay. Because for me, it's always like, okay, film is, yeah, it's, it's a nice name, but what do you want to do in that mm -hmm. film? Because, I mean, there's the director, script writer, DOP, yes. editing, costume, makeup, props, mm -hmm. set. What do you there's want a lot. to do? You just worked with 300, more, more, exactly. more than 100 crew members yes. in your yes. film. And, yeah, and we, can, we, we might need a locations manager. We mm -hmm. might need, um, what do they call them? Uh... This person, who, uh, a unit manager, unit manager, you know, to yeah. be able to man all these three hundred yes, people, yes. there are so so many. And mm -hmm. you know, right now we have got people who are going to medical school just to be nurses, nurses, on and set, they, on set nurse. Yeah, Amazing. we have got policemen who have resigned from police job just to be policemen on set. I know one. I mean, <laughs> like, it's I know one. Good, uh -huh, it's good. Uh -huh. So we have got medical practitioners mm -hmm. who are just here. Mm -hmm. We have got people who are doing transport business just. For film. Film. Yes. Mm -hmm. They know in film sets, we wake up very early in the morning. Yes. We will retire very late. A year in between, I can be there. And they are doing very well. If, like when uh, we were going yeah. to Singapore, we had five vans. Yes. Yeah. And these drivers need to understand yeah. set principles. Exactly. They need to know, I'm picking up crew and talent at this particular yes. time. I'm bringing them at this yeah, particular time. Yeah, exactly. This is amazing. Would you advise um, also these creatives to have other... Are the side jobs to do? I wouldn't call it side jobs. There is a there is a time we were looking for for sponsorship of mm -hmm. a film, mm -hmm. and I met a business person. He introduced me to something called uh, SPV. Mm -hmm. uh, he said uh, specific purpose vehicle. Yeah. So he said, if if you are doing film, he asked us, mm -hmm. what other things are you doing to pump more money into, into your film. into your film? Yeah. He didn't ask us what else do you do apart from yes. film. Yeah. He, he went that direction. He yeah. said, what that's, else that's, are you doing? That's a wise man. Yes. What yeah. else are you doing that is pumping money yeah. into, your, into your passion, into your craft? Yeah. And I, it was eye-opening. Because I looked yeah. at myself and said, you know what? Well, we have a production company. We can, when we are not filming, yeah. these equipments cannot be just Sitting, waiting. waiting. Yeah. yeah. There are people who are covering events, people who are having events. Yeah. We can go cover those events yes. and everything. Cover and birthdays, weddings, corporate. Birthdays, corporate. weddings, corporate events, and all Shoot of those podcasts. things. Shoot podcasts. Yeah. All those things. And okay? teach people. And teach people <laughs> about this. I think you are saying that uh, for these creatives, they yeah. shouldn't rely only on this craft. If you, if you want to get something that can pump more money into your brand, you should do it. Would you advise maybe, that? Maybe, uh, uh, let me see. You should rely on this craft. Mm -hmm. It's only that you should find other diverse avenues within this craft. Yes. You see the way you have said, mm -hmm. all those are within the filming within industry. Within the filming industry. Like if somebody is doing costume and makeup, mm -hmm. why don't they be able to do, uh, one, first of all, have a boutique, mm -hmm. be stylists. You get yes. what I mean on the side yes. and be able to do makeup even when not on set. You know, yes. those are the avenues, but yes. it's still within the same creative craft. Yes. Yes. Dr. Chari, I can talk to you for a very long time. Yeah. Because <laughs> you are amazing. Now, um, parting shot. There is that young girl, yeah. that young boy who's joining this industry. You've been here for 19 years. There's a... Uh, there's a baby who has been born mm -hmm. and now has an ID. For mm -hmm. 19 years, it's a yeah. long time. Yeah. What would you tell them? Go to school. If you love it that much, mm -hmm. you can sacrifice as much, especially if you are that young. Mm -hmm. Four years will come and go whether you go to school or not. Mm -hmm. So the question is, where will you be after mm -hmm. those four years? Mm -hmm. So it is better if you, especially if you are young, go, go to school. Mm -hmm learn something in line with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. By the way, personally, I don't listen to people who tell me, oh, you know, I am talented in the arts <laughs> and I don't know what to do. I said, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> I am studying all oh, engineering. I'm studying like... <laughs> if you are so good in engineering, mm 
Do and it. you wanted to do the arts. Then Come and do sound engineering. Uh -huh. Come and do something related. You can tell me. But don't tell me you're doing mechanical engineering, which mm -hmm. is not in line with this, and you want me to mentor you in this. No. It's you have a waste to, of time. I, I, uh, I don't have that time to waste. I want mm. to mentor somebody who I'm sure mm -hmm. 10, 15, 20, or 30 years later will say, mm -hmm. Dr. Zippy held my hand. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I don't want somebody to, to tell me, oh, I went and studied agriculture mm -hmm. and now I am doing film. I, by the way, I don't like those stories. Mm -mm. Yes. It's Especially if, when it is people who are 40 years and above, it is okay. Yes. But for these 20, 30 year olds, I'm like, mm -mm. I mean, why didn't you go just go and study film? It would have you made you a have better time. person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you will, you will always learn. Even through YouTube, you will learn. Yes. But... School will summarize for you in one month what you will learn in one year in the industry. Mm. So invest where your heart is. You see the way we invest in good equipment? Yes. The same way. Because your heart is there. Your heart is there. Mm -hmm. What I know is right now, for people aged, let me say 35 or 30 and below, mm -hmm. we have got at least 60 or 70 percent who have been trained in film. Whether yes. it is certificate, diploma, degree, or whatever mm -hmm. level, mm. people are going back to school. To learn so this, film. Yeah, so this issue of doing it as a hobby, as a part-time, we mm -hmm. have no space for that anymore. Mm -hmm. If you're doing it as a hobby, fine. You start mm -hmm. your own club. You mm -hmm. know, you sit and and that can be actually be yeah. evidence in terms, of, in terms of the films that are being churned out from yes. Kenyan producers. Exactly. You can see these are the people who are mm -hmm. getting more education exactly. in film production. Yeah. Amazing. Dr. Terry, this is your camera. Tell us, tell people where they should come watch or taste Jenam, what they should expect, and uh, will it be a memorable experience? Hi! <laughs> Luo Glam. Luo Glam. <laughs> Hi, guys. So come to KICC on 27th of March to watch Otis Janam, a Luo film with English subtitles. This is going to be an experience of a lifetime. Tickets are 2000 for VIP, that gets you one cocktail drink, or 4900 for VVVIP, where yes. you get special seating, special cocktail, and a lifetime souvenir gift. Guys, dress. It is Luo Glam. It's called Luo Glam. You know the way Luo dress. We dress as if, you know, as if we were created to be here to dress only. So come dressed to your best and enjoy the red carpet. All our actors will be there. Masese, Nick, uh, Okal, Brenda, Godfrey, Vincent. And all these actors are there just to enjoy that afternoon with you because we created this film for you. It's a special story that each of you will be able to relate with. If you grew up in the countryside, it will be a deja vu kind of experience. If you grew up in the city, you'll be like, wow, I wish I grew up in the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing, Dr. Yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank this you. is a, a, a place where we want to see you more and more. We want to, to see your films more and more. Yeah. You've given us 10 titles. Yeah. How many titles to come? Oh, in the next... Um, in the next uh, maybe five years, I'll have another five more feature film titles. Feature film. Amazing. Yeah, this is in Guinea, can be in between, but feature film, averagely one per year, on a good year too. All the best to that. Dr. Chari, um, you've said the ticket is, is, is 2,000 and 5,000. Where are we getting the tickets? Ziko Api, where are the tickets? So the tickets, you can get them on buy goods till number 510-255 or on Kenya Buzz. So what was the cause? But if you forget, just go to our pages, okay. the Dr. Zipiokos page, mm -hmm. Otis Janam page, mm -hmm. and Legacy at San Filina page. You will mm -hmm. get all the details there. We respond mm -hmm. to all messages. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Guys, uh, the, the pay bill number will be on the screen. Get, go to that pay bill number. Get that ticket. Don't miss this experience. It's only the first half of 2024, and we have something amazing that is coming up on the, K, on the KICC. Please come there, buy the ticket, and come watch uh, this amazing uh, Lugo film and get a lifetime experience. Uh, remember, Dr. Zippy Okoth has, uh, she has a page. There's also the film page, uh, which you can watch the trailer on Legacy Arts on YouTube, and you can go to her page, get all the details. And she also has 
other things apart from film, books, you can also get in touch with her and get uh, her books and, you know, just read and tap into her creative mind. Also, us here on CTB Show, get us on, on, on TikTok, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram at CTB Show. From me to you guys, thank you so much for listening, for watching. Have a great time.